Well, hello, good morning, everybody. Welcome back, Jiu Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back, I hope you guys are doing fantastic out there. I've got an interesting video for you today. Uh, right now, I am out walking around. I came out here the day before yesterday. I was out on my Honda trail and I was looking for a location where I could film a two day, one night survival challenge video. While I was out in this area, I decided I would stop at one of these shooting areas and look around and see if there was any brass out there. I found a pretty good supply of 270 brass, but I didn't pick it up because I didn't have a container, I didn't have anything to put it in, a bag, anything like that. So I thought, well, it was in the afternoon and I thought, no problem. I'll go out the following day and I'll pick up that brass. No big deal. You know, I thought about finding a container out here, you know, but all these bottles and stuff are shot up out here and it just wasn't worth it to me. So I came out yesterday thinking that I was gonna find this brass, that I was gonna come back and pick up this brass. I got busy yesterday though, and I wasn't able to come out here until the afternoon. Well, as I arrived out here, I noticed there was two vehicles parked here and they were shooting. So I went on and just did a little ride and I thought, well, I'll come back when they leave. Well, I ended up going home and long story short, I'm out here now and all of that 270 brass is gone. I mean, I see one right here, but there was probably maybe 60 rounds of 270 brass. I should have picked it up and I should have put it in my pockets and just been like a squirrel rat hole in brass because 270 brass ain't cheap. This stuff is good if you can find it. So anyway, today I've got a bag in my hand and I'm gonna pick up some brass. I see a lot of nine millimeter and stuff like that. So I'm gonna pick up some brass and well, hopefully we'll find something cool. It's unfortunate though that all the 270s are gone. <laughs> I found one. Got a little bit of brass here. I noticed that my camera battery is getting low, so I'm gonna wrap this video up for now. I'm gonna continue to pick up some more brass. I'm noticing a lot of nine millimeter. I got some 45, nine millimeters a dime a dozen. So I guess the lesson that I've learned here is if you're gonna go out to a place where there could be potential to find brass and you don't wanna come back and miss out like I did, keep a Walmart bag in your pocket. You know, and, and definitely if you see some of the harder brass to find like 30 out six seven mag 300 wind mag you know 270 30 30 some of your 45 long colt all those weird brasses that are hard to find definitely uh if you come across something like that pick it up because i should have and now i'm like dang because i saw that pile of 270 uh and it, I'm, I'm not kidding there was probably 60 rounds or something of it found a few live ones too a 45 and 222s live rounds the people that were here yesterday had to have been policing brass i just found another live 22 they had to have been policing brass because the other day when i was out here there was a lot more brass than what I'm seeing right now. So it's good that those people policed the area and cleaned it up. I like seeing a good clean shooting area, but for me personally, it's bad because I missed out on an opportunity for a lot of 270 brass. Things like nine millimeter, 
uh, even in some cases your your two two threes those are a dime a dozen you can find those all day long everybody shoots those and they pretty much leave those on the ground so that kind of stuff is easy to find 380 or 25 acp who cares nobody shoots those anyway unless you're going to reload those calibers you know and you come across some 380 or something yeah pick it up but um my opinion is that kind of stuff gets left behind it's kind of slim pickings today but i'm looking over here off behind the camera and i see a lot of shiny stuff so i'm gonna go take a look this reminds me of uh mario brothers picking up all them coins ding 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 <laughs> ding that's what this reminds me of when you're brass hunting this is all nine millimeters so pretty good stuff i reload a lot of nine millimeter on my progressive on my dylan so nine millimeter brass is always welcome well so far it looks like i've pretty much picked this area clean so that's about all i got for for now i just found another 223 so it's nice seeing the shooting area nice and clean on the way home i decided to take a look at another area and woohoo i found some 30 out sixes Wow, so today is going to be a good day. I mean, it was a good day already, but yeah, this is nice. If you're curious about how much these cost, go to Cabela's and look at brass. Stuff's not cheap. There's another live 22. I see two of them shining right there. Looks like they're large caliber. One, two, three, four, five, six more 30 out sixes. Very nice. In the bag they go. There's all the brass that I picked up. Today was a good day of, of brass hunting. look at all that that's a lot of brass and you're probably wondering what's the deal with this little big lighter but i pick them up because i use these to start my backpacking stoves and they work really good for that i've got some uh little containers here yeah there's some 38s 357s i'll put those there so i'm gonna go ahead and get this all sorted out it's gonna take me quite a bit of time but that's uh what i need to do So there's my 9mm and there might be the occasional 380 in there. There's the 40s, 45s, 38, 357, 223s, and 30 out 6. So I got a pretty good haul today. And this is for anybody that's wondering what I do with all of this brass. I put it up there in these Arizona tea jugs according to what caliber it is so that top row up there that's all brass different sizes different types different calibers i'm gonna take these 30 out sixes and i'm gonna put them in this small tumbler this is a wet tumble and this works really good look at that that's perfect I'm going to bring the water up to about here. You definitely want to have enough room for the brass to jump around and dance around inside of there. So something like that, the water is about right there. Then I'll take just some standard dish soap. I'll put that in there. And a little packet of lemon juice that I get from like a restaurant or something like that. Lemon juice. I like that citric acid in there. That seems to help make this stuff really pretty. So one little packet of citrus. Lemon juice. 
turn that lid, make sure that I'm not leaking. And that looks good, so we'll set that there. So I'll take this larger one and I'll put all my 9mm in here. Again, the key to all this brass tumbling is making sure that things have enough room to slosh around and stuff in there. So we'll put some water in here. Again, I'm going to go to about the same level, about right here. And Same thing, just a little bit of dish soap. And I'm going to put two of these little lemon juices in this bigger batch. This seems to be the ticket that really helps make them shine really pretty. I think I get these at my Mexican food place here in town. Um, they have these little packets of lemon juice. So now I want to make sure this is nice and clean. Put that there. I put this upside down and then this uh, looks like that's not going to go. Put this on, tighten this down, make sure that I'm not getting any leaks. It doesn't look like there's any leaks. Let's go ahead and set this for three hours. Okay, these have had plenty of time to tumble. Now I'm going to take them out and I'm going to drain them. Okay, so we'll start with this uh, small one that had the larger brass in it. We'll set this down in there. And I got this bucket just so I could show you the color of the water. <laughs> this water is probably filthy. Look at that. Ooh, that is filthy water. Oh my goodness. Ooh, that's nasty. That is nasty. Let's do this other one. Take this part out. Put this in here. And we'll do the same thing here with this one. Let's pour some of this water out and see what it looks like. Oh, that's real dirty. This one was dirtier than the other one. That was pretty dirty. Look at this water. That is like really nasty water. Whew. And from here, I'm gonna just pour a little water in each of these just to kind of rinse them. I wanna make sure that the brass is Got all the soap and stuff off of it as much as I can. So we'll set that there. It's kind of clean. Boy, those look really nice. Those are very clean. So we'll do the same thing here. We'll just kind of reach down in there and just kind of, I'm just trying to get rid of the soap and the suds and this stuff out of there. So we'll put this back on. And let's get rid of this water. Okay, that's pretty much all I need to do on that one. And let's do the same thing here. This one's going to be a little harder because it's a little heavier. And that looks pretty good. Looks like it rinsed them off pretty well. One of the beautiful things about living in Arizona is you got plenty of sun. Pour those out. Kind of spread them out. We'll let the sun do its job. 
go. Yeah, those look really nice. These uh, rifle cases, they look fantastic. So I'll let the sun bake those things and get them nice and dry. There's a closer look at the 30 out sixes and the 223s. Boy, they look really good. And then the 9 millimeter. Looks like I'm gonna have to pick through these because some of these are, uh, they're not even brass cased. So that's okay. You don't really know when they're dirty. So you gotta clean them and then you can take a closer look. Man, while I'm waiting for all this brass to dry, I've cleaned all of this stuff and I'm waiting for it to dry as well. So I just picked out all these gray ones. These are not even brass. These are like aluminum casings or something. So I set those aside, but boy, that brass looks fantastic. folks that's all I got for you today on this video of brass hunting I hope you enjoyed this video please feel free to leave your comments down below like this video share this video and until next time I hope you guys have a wonderful day we'll see you then bye for now